We continue to track breaking news this morning out of Dallas. Five police officers are dead and many more remain in critical condition after what is being described as an ambush style attack. Jenna Janes has been tracking the very latest out of Dallas all morning long. She joins us now for the very latest. Jenna. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. This stems from what was otherwise a peaceful protest planned in Dallas after two black men were killed earlier this week by police officers. Now, demonstrations much like the one that happened in Dallas last night are still continuing throughout the nation peacefully. But in Dallas, as the protest was coming to an end, at least two snipers fired at officers from above. In total, five officers have been killed. Six others are injured. The deadliest attack on police since 9-11. Now, earlier this morning, police exchanged guns gunfire with at least one of the suspects. After an hours long standoff, police say that person is dead. Now they're sweeping downtown Dallas for explosives. So far, none have been found. Now outside the hospital, officers saluted the fallen and held a moment of silence. The father of one of the officers says his daughter, Misty McBride, was shot in the arm and stomach, but thankfully will be okay. But she's now mourning the loss of her coworkers. Something happens, you think the worst of it. So uh, you're just relieved that when you walk in there and you see that she's going to be okay in there, they told us you know exactly what happened and everything and that she was going to be fine. Okay. She's already talking about going back to work tomorrow. What did she now, four of the five officers killed were with Dallas police. The fifth officer has been identified as 43-year-old Brent Thompson. His photo there on your screen. He's a DART area transit officer with the department since 2009. Now, as of right now, three people are in police custody. The mayor of Dallas says that all of them are being very tight-lipped about this incident. It's still unclear, though, how many people may be involved. That fourth person who was involved in that standoff, again, is dead. But again, they're still trying to figure out just how many suspects are in this. Again, this all stems from those protests after those two black men were killed by police earlier this week. There are still protests going on around the nation, including here in Omaha. Later today, there's a protest planned tonight. It's the Omaha in solidarity with Black Lives Matter protests. It's scheduled to begin at 5 p.m. at 120th and Center Street. It's likely other protests may pop up around the city, but Dave Cerise is expected to be a very peaceful protest. Organizers with this event are calling for everyone to bring peace and love tonight. Jenna James reporting for us live this morning in the newsroom. Jenna, thank you.